Hello and welcome back to our channel. Maybe just mine. <laughs> you used looks a little tired. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a cat mom. I am a former wash up athlete. I am a Twitch streamer and I love learning new things. And so the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, artists, and bands that I have never heard before. And so today, chaotic kitties. And so today we're going to be listening to yet another Rammstein song and it's called Zick Zack. And no idea what this is going to be about. As we know with Rammstein so far, every single song has a deep meaning to it and every video is always superb. They are masters at their craft, whether it is making an amazing song full of thoughtful messages or making a music video full of a lot of subliminal messages or maybe just an outright in your face message. They are always pushing the boundaries and I so appreciate them for that. So just a little disclaimer before we begin, I am not a musically savvy person. So if I say something that is incorrect, please be sure to cut me some slack. I am just learning and enjoying the ride on my journey to listen to more music. Don't forget if you guys like my content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel or like the video. It really helps growing content creators like me. And so without further ado, let's get to the video. Always never know what we're going to get with Rammstein. So so I'm pumped to see another song and music video from them. So let's just dive in. I like the intro to this song so far. Oh. Deine Brüste sind zu klein. Zwei Pfund Zielig. Is that Till? Sind fein. Oh my god, the pecs. Von den Augen, Nase fräsen, Fett wegsaugen. Wir entfernen, rasch zwei Rippen, Schlauchboot basteln aus den Lippen. Oh. Botox ins Gehirn. Zick, zack, zick, zack, schneid es ab. Zick, zack, zick, zack, kurz und knapp. Oh, wow. I like alles schlafe über dem Kinn. Okay, so before we go on, clearly this is about looks. <laughs> if you couldn't tell so far, this is obviously about criticizing people's looks uh especially if they don't have plastic surgery of some sort till looks crazy in this video <laughs> you know what i really appreciate about rammstein is how they push the boundaries not only with their music not only with their music videos but with themselves till just seems down for anything he's down to be a blind man he's down to look crazy with all this plastic surgery he is just down for literally anything and i, pr I can appreciate it well the whole entire band is just down for anything like it looks like they're having a lot of fun portraying like sort of plastic surgery uh enthusiast sort of people <laughs> i for one um don't know what that's like to be a plastic surgery uh enthusiast i know plenty of people who do get botox and things like that it is very very apparent in our society or you know very frequent in our society it's starting younger and younger and younger so it's kind of interesting that they have decided to uh create a video create a song and create a message about this it's sort of a pandemic in its own way and honestly it looks freaking painful like what is he holding what is this contraption right here is that a tattoo gun or what is that anyway so far so good this uh music video seems really fun and i'm enjoying it so far but it's it's cool that they are actually touching upon that and i also like how zigzag it kind of seems like snip snip you know plastic surgery requires a lot of cutting so i feel like zigzag is another way of being like snip snip you know cutting cut you know going under the knife so this is so cool so far so let's uh let's back it up 
a little bit and let's keep going. <laughs> I love how the band members look. They look they look like Barbies. They look plastic. And I guess that's the point, but still, it's kind of fun to watch. The penis something the sun, I'm guessing. He was pointing towards the sun and he said sun. I'm totally guessing. I don't know German. The song slaps as usual. I love the keyboard. Uh oh. Are his implants deflating or something? I don't know anything about plastic surgery. Mmm. Love this chill part. You got a zigzag till. Oh my god. Did you just staple his face? Love Till's voice. Love the keyboard in this a lot. Till is so scary. He looks like a potato. So before we get to the last few seconds of this song, okay, wow, whoever is the makeup artist for this music video absolutely killed it. Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> Till's face melting off, that is very iconic, and he is getting, they are getting the message across very perfectly. It's clearly like people will do anything to be beautiful, whether that's to go through pain by stapling your face together or uh, by going through surgery injections zigzag snip snip like whatever like people will do anything to look good because we have kind of in this day and age demonized aging for whatever reason people are so scared to get wrinkles people are so scared to get freckles sunspots saggy skin and you know what uh, to me, I see it as such a privilege to age and get old because some of us do not get the opportunity to do so. It's either you get old or you die young, right? So, I mean, I hate that we have lived in, that we are currently living in a society that really prioritizes things like Botox, prioritizes things like a 10-step skincare routine or things that are about your face or your body and the the beauty standards, whatever that is. And I love that Rammstein is touching upon it. The fact that they are touching upon it and putting out this message and putting a music video out about it is just so cool to me. I really commend them for doing something like this because it is something that needs to be talked about. And I love that the, even the showgirls, they are showing like they got nose jobs with the bandage over their nose. Like every single detail of this video is perfect. And it kind of goes by a little quickly, but this song also just slaps. I, I'm loving the song and I'm taking in as many visuals as I can. Again, if you guys have any other sort of interpretations, please sound off in the comments. But let's finish off this video. Let's see what we're in for at the end. Till 
so funny. <gasps> Were those granny titties? Excuse me. A kitty? What is the cat eating? Hold up. What is he eating? I can't tell what that is. Does anyone know what that is? Also, were those granny titties? I'm gonna go back for research purposes. Okay, so those were indeed granny titties. I was not expecting that. But hey, her titties look great. If you guys wanna check out her big booba, you should uh, look at the link in the description box of the Rammstein music video. You can check them out there. You know, I I can never go into a Rammstein song with any sort of expectations, especially with the music video. They always have a wonderful message and a wonderful video to go along with the song. The song itself absolutely slaps. Uh, it's so heavy and fun at the same time. Till's vocals, of course, always are just gorgeous. And I really like the keyboard in the song there. It added just such a nice little light touch to the composition. But that guitar was heavy and impactful and I really enjoyed it. I just loved, I, I just love how they compose their music and how they are able to create such a distinct sound. You know it's a Rammstein song, not only because of Till's voice. Till's voice is very unique, but also just because of the heaviness of their instruments, you know? I mean, I guess that's what metal is, heavy metal, but still, you know it's a Rammstein song because they always are a little bit chantier in their music. They're always a little bit kind of more anthem-like sometimes, and sometimes it feels like Till is not just singing to you, but he's talking to you. And I've said this multiple times in the music, in their music videos and their songs, but like sometimes he, when he slows down, it literally feels like he's just talking. And I like it, his voice is so, beautiful anyway it doesn't matter to me I like i really like how they compose their songs and the music to complement till's voice is just perfect to me what really takes the cake for me with rammstein is they are not only performers and musicians they are actors and they are storytellers and they push the boundaries time and time again and i seriously commend them for that because you know a lot of dar a lot of artists nowadays are really scared of going outside of their boundaries or outside of what they know or maybe outside of what they are comfortable with and with Rammstein, they seem comfortable being uncomfortable and they like making other people feel uncomfortable. Like it was uncomfortable for me to watch Till have his face melt off and it's uncomfortable for me to watch some of the crazy visuals such as in songs like music videos such as Angst. It's just like they love creating such visual, um, stunning images but they also like to make you uncomfortable. And they're not only pushing the boundaries with music, but they're pushing our boundaries. They are pushing us as their consumers, as their audience to think about what they are saying, to not only think about the song, but think about the video as a whole and the entire message that they are trying to say, because every single part of their work when it comes to the song, plus the music video, plus their performance, it all goes together into one whole thing. And I really appreciate that. They are really pushing us as an audience to dig deeper into music. It's clear to me that Rammstein wants their fans to dig deeper, to listen to their music, to learn about themselves and learn about maybe the world. Rammstein is putting out so much content that is worthy of discussion with their performances, music videos, songs. It's very, very cool to me. And I've never seen a band do anything like this. They are absolute visionaries and they're kind of revolutionary too because this is just out of this world. No one does this anymore or I don't think anyone has ever done this. Has anyone ever really done this? I just feel like Rammstein is so unique in how they are able to make us uncomfortable, make every... Just, just make these pieces of art, but we also can't look away. When we're uncomfortable, a lot, of, you know, when we're uncomfortable, a lot of people will just run away from the uncomfortability and not really absorb what is being said or shown to them. But what makes Rammstein fans unique is that they like this uncomfortableness, they like this interpretation or the subliminal messages 
or any of the higher intellectual meanings that Rammstein is trying to create. So when it comes to the actual message of the song, to me, I see it as a total hit on the beauty industry, specifically plastic surgery, where you get lip injections, Botox, all sorts of stuff uh, done to your body to look like the beauty standard or to look a certain way that is trendy or popular at the time. And you see how Till reacts in the music video to having his face droop. He can't take it. He is literally willing to do anything to make himself look better and to uphold the standard of what he thinks is beautiful. I mean, I feel like we have all heard the expression that beauty is pain. And I mean, yeah, like... It can be because some of the things people are willing to do to their body to make themselves look better um, to society and to reach the society beauty standards is um, crazy. We're talking about plastic surgery. We're talking about people altering their bodies. We're talking about people going to the extremes to feel beautiful again. And it's just a shame because even when you do all of these things, when even when you put thousands of dollars into your body to make you look a certain way, there will still be criticisms and there will still be people who don't like the way you look. You can't please everybody. There, there will always be someone who criticizes your looks, who criticizes your boobs, who criticizes your teeth, who criticizes your height who criticizes your hair color who who prefers blue eyes or green eyes or brown eyes like it you know people always have preferences and beauty is in the eye of the beholder and Rammstein is really hitting the nail on the head here being like stop it stop hurting your body stop suffering for for what? For who? Not for yourself, for other people. And even then, you still will not be satisfied because not everyone thinks everything is beautiful because everyone has different standards. Everyone has different preferences on what they think is beautiful. And I absolutely love this video. I'm sorry if I feel like I feel like I'm kind of yelling, but I feel very passionate about this sort of message because it is so true. Not only when you go through things like plastic surgery are you suffering physically with all the alterations and changes but you're 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 suffering mentally um even people who are consuming things like watching people get plastic surgery it is suffering too cuz you think oh should i get that oh is that what i should be doing it's just a constant vicious circle and i commend Rammstein for talking about it for putting it out on a video and for creating discussion about it. So if you guys have any other sort of interpretations about this sort of music video or song, please let me know down in the comments or join the Discord. I would love to know what you have to say. I just feel very passionate about this sort of topic because I feel like it's never gonna go away. Beauty standards and things always change. And also this isn't to say that I am against people getting plastic surgery or lip fillers or Botox or anything like that. Like do what you want with your body. It's your body. You can do whatever you want. I think the main message here that Rammstein is trying to say, like it is painful and you have to do it for yourself and not for other people. I think what gets people a lot nowadays is that they are doing it for others. They aren't inherently doing it for themselves because they are just trying to adhere to societal beauty standards and not what they think feels or looks right. I'm very passionate about this topic and I'm so sorry if I come across as heated or maybe talking really quickly or too fast or anything like that. I just love that it's even being talked about by Rammstein that I, honestly, this wasn't even in the threshold of topics that I thought that they would talk about. You know, I see a lot of political topics with Rammstein. I see a lot of videos about violence and subliminal messages regarding politicians and the history of Germany and, you know, being happy with what you have and things like that. Like it all comes together. And this sort of message, I didn't think they would ever tap on. But you know what? They continue to surprise me. Rammstein continues to push the boundaries as musicians, as creators, as visionaries. They are revolutionary and I am so happy, happy I am witnessing them for the first time. And I just have to say thank you to them for doing this because nowadays 
people are so afraid to do something like this and they just aren't and i love that i love how kind of reckless they are they're like yeah this is what we want to do and we're doing it and if you don't like it you can suck it at the end of the day life is short and you cannot live your life day to day by being obsessed with a wrinkle on your face or being obsessed with a pimple or even a freckle or something like obviously take care of yourself love yourself but do not be too harsh about yourself because of what other people say you need to do. It's just beautiful how Rammstein portrayed it in their own way. And they are just absolutely incredible at doing that. They have their own way that they want to tell the audience a message and speak out about what is important to them. And they make music about it and they have this whole entire journey for their audience to absorb. And I love that about them. They are so intentional, again, with everything that they do. And the fact that they are touching upon this sort of topic and they are saying, hey man, you, even after you get all this plastic surgery and you look in the mirror, you may not even be happy with yourself, you know? Like don't do things at the benefit of other people or what society thinks is best. And they are just so beautiful at portraying that. But like I said before, I think it's a privilege to grow old and to make it into your 70s, 80s, 90s. I have a grandma that's 101 years old. She just turned 101 in November and she is absolutely rocking it. You wouldn't think she is a day over like 70. She just looks amazing. And I think it is such a privilege to grow old because if you don't grow old, what is the alternative? I mean, yeah, it can be daunting at times to grow old, but then again, you can you can age gracefully. You can have beautiful smile lines that show you how many times that you have smiled throughout your life. You can have the most beautiful crow's feet under your eyes to show yourself how much you have laughed in your lifetime. Like there is a lot of positivity when it comes to aging for me, but I don't judge people who want to or do get plastic surgery either. You can do whatever you want with your body. I just want to make sure that people are doing it for the right reasons. And I think that's what Rammstein is trying to say here too and I really, really feel that deep in my heart, 100%. Anyway, I think that will do it for the video today. Thank you all so much again for watching. If you guys like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps growing content creators like me. If you guys are interested in some of my other content, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. If you guys are interested in my Twitch, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash RPG, where we talk music, where we talk anime, where we talk cats, and you can see moments like this. Uh, I'm crying. <laughs>